All right, Mike here at RPM again. Um, so this is how you check your in-play. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, you can use a dial indicator, uh, digital or analog, whichever, as long as you know how to read it. Um, I typically just get a magnetic base and it's just a snap on one. What we're checking for is the actual run out and the motor here. So if I push up on the rear kind of right here, should, Now, factor is 1.5 to 3 thousandths of play. Now, this is where the engine builder comes in. It depends on what you're doing with the motor. In any case, it's better to have more than not enough. So, and obviously too much is excessive, but I mean, typically a good like wind up motor, you're gonna want it a little looser. So three to three and a half is typical um, for like a cast motor. Uh, like factory factory plates whatnot now you get into billet plates they do swell more so you're gonna have to set it uh, looser well, it'll have to be around you know probably four and a half ish and i know guys that set it to five five and a half for the billet motors now like i said this right here uh three to three and a half is good for a fd motor if you know you want some good free revving you got the oil pressure mod to help thicken the film on the oil on the bearings um it's perfectly normal to have it around three to three and a half is my personal preference. Other engine builders have their own preference as well. Um, but, and you know, you can also, you know, if you don't want to push up on it, literally just put, there's like a little dimple here in the casting here. I just take a small pry bar. Do not force this. That is not going to give you an adequate reading. All you have to do is one finger, one finger. Okay. All you're looking for is that little gentle play. Don't want to force it. Right there. That's what you're reading for. So that's three. It's perfect. All right. So that's a tech tip of this week. So have a good, happy 4th of July, everybody. And uh, we'll see you in the following week.